Hello, sunshines. Hope everyone is having a safe and happy holiday. I am Shannon Ortez, the founder and president and fill in the blank for light after loss. If it needs done, I tend to do it. Start a nonprofit, they said. It'll be fun, they said. So I'm popping on to talk about the Postvention Convention. So last year, 2022, was our inaugural event. And now we are on year two. And I'm so excited. It is August 11th at the Kent Stark Conference Center, 9 to 5. It is an all-day training. I am going to, I'm sharing my screen because I am going to walk you through what is going to happen that day and what it should, what it's going to look like and how you can find out more information. So if you just go to Google and I put in light and then light after loss at the Hope and Healing Center pops up, yay, that's how it's supposed to work, right? So then you click on that and you go to the website and there we are. So then I'm going to go to education and training, the postvention convention, and then this will pop up, which is awesome. And if you know you are coming because you want to see myself, there's going to be Dr. Melinda Moore is our keynote. Maureen Pollard from Canada is our closing keynote. Tony Coder is our afternoon plenary lots of six breakout sessions with a variety of speakers as well. So lots to learn. And if you are a mental health professional, it is worth 5.5 CEs in Ohio. So if you're a social worker, counselor, marriage and family therapist, you can earn 5.5 CEs. I believe one of those or two of those, one of those, I don't know. We'll look it is worth um, supervision. So if you are an LPCCS like I am and you need your supervision credits, I believe you can get um, your supervision credit, some of your supervision credit at the postvention convention. So let's get to, so there's lots of information. So all of these tabs, but I'm gonna go to the agenda and the session details. Um, if you know you're just coming and you can just click register now and that will take you to the registration because you are not going to want to miss it. It's 50 bucks for CEs and that includes lunch. You can't even really get that anywhere. And then if you don't need CEs and you're a peer support specialist or an advocate or want to volunteer for Light After Loss or have volunteered and want to continue to volunteer, it's 10 bucks, which is you know less than the cost of lunch. So Getting to the agenda, um, sign in and payment and registration is from eight to nine. The opening remarks is myself and just welcoming everybody and then talking about postvention as prevention, which we often say. So what does that really mean? What is postvention and how is it prevention? So I go into that and then that will lead into Melinda Moore from Eastern Kentucky University talking about post-traumatic growth after suicide loss across the lifespan. Super excited to have her. So she, that will be a great uh, keynote. Then there's a break and then the breakout sessions for number session one. There are three choices. So if you are a volunteer or you want to volunteer for Light After Loss, you would go to How Volunteers Support Suicide Loss Survivors. That is going to be our volunteer training. And there are lots of ways to volunteer if you want to do direct care, which means you want to help facilitate or co-facilitate a group. If you want to be on the traumatic loss team, um, which is a loss team, eventually be, will be a DOS team and just all traumatic loss. Um, so if you want to respond, be a first responder for traumatic loss survivors, that is the training or the session you would pick. Um, if you are 
um, a mental health professional, then you would pick supporting young survivors, um, especially a mental health professional in the school. I'm hoping that we will have some school counselors and some teachers and people who work with youth. There is a few sessions surrounding youth. So I think um, that population would really benefit from attending. And then when professionals weep, addressing suicide loss and enfranchising grief through counseling supervision. So there is your supervision credit. Um, and it is an hour, so it would be one CE for supervision. And then we have the lunch and resource fair. We should have at least 10 tables of local resources uh, that you can tap into, gather information, get their brochures, and then the lunch. The lunch last year was awesome. Can State Start Campus does an amazing job with their conference center and their lunch is amazing. Um, then Tony Coder, the executive director of the Ohio Suicide Prevention Foundation came last year and he's back this year and he just will talk about the state of postvention post in Ohio. You know, the last couple of years, there really has been an increased awareness and increase in programming when it comes to postvention and what happens after a suicide. And we're super excited about that, obviously. And so he's gonna talk about where we are and what's coming. And then there'll be a break and then a breakout session. Number two, also three things to choose from. Uh, suicide survivors in therapy, a panel discussion. So we are gonna have five or six of our suicide loss survivors who have been through um, some of our programs, but also have attended counseling and giving feedback on why or what worked or didn't work and really is just the goal is to help counselors know how to better support survivors who come through their door. Oftentimes something will be said or something will be done and then a survivor will stop going and it's really hard to get them to re-engage in counseling. So those that first session, first impressions are everything, but those few, first few sessions are super important. And what we say and what we do with suicide loss survivors, especially in the building trust arena is super important. So we'll talk about that. And I, I'm not gonna talk about it. I'll be the moderator, but our, survivors will talk about their experience and what worked and what didn't work. And then we're super excited to have suicide loss in the LGBTQ plus community, what it means to be a survivor in that community and some of the barriers that come along with that. And then when the worst happens, a macro level overview of postvention in schools. This has been a requested topic Many people want to know when there is a suicide death in a youth that impacts a school or a school district, what is the best practice and protocol? So Elena from our local suicide prevention coalition is going to be talking about that. Uh, so I'm super excited about that. So if you are working with young people in the schools, again, teachers, administration, school counselors should attend that one. Um, it is something that is super important and how we, again, postvention is prevention. How we respond is really going to determine whether it becomes a cluster or there is a contagion. So um, I think it's a very important session to attend if you are in the school system. So then an afternoon break and then Maureen will come with our afternoon keynote. And then I will be back up for closing remarks. We are going to do, we did a raffle last year. We're gonna do a raffle this year. And not only just for our in-person folks, but also our hybrid, our virtual folks who are attending online, there's gonna be something specific for them as well. So a little bit of everything for everyone. Our postvention convention really is the goal and the vision is to better prepare our mental health community when it comes to supporting survivors. We are not trained as clinicians, so I am a clinician, but I am also a suicide loss survivor. And I can tell you, I was not prepared 
to um, really understand why and how suicide loss is different and what happens when trauma meets grief. And so we are not trained for that. So it is something that people specifically would have to attend or get continuing education just like this in order to better support survivors of suicide loss, especially when it comes to um, the increased risk they have in taking their own lives and being able to address that issue. So that all being said, I really hope that you join us this year. Last year, it was our first year and it, it was amazing. I couldn't have asked for a better event. So hoping we had about 75 people, some in-person, some hybrid. I hope more in-person in folks this year. I really want to break 100 folks. 50 bucks for 5.5 CEs or $10 to come and learn and network and meet a lot of great speakers and experts in the postvention arena. It is one that you definitely are not going to want to miss. So August 11th, um, it is all day from 9 to 5 at the Kent State University Stark Conference Center. This is the where you would register. It's on our Facebook page and social media. So if you click the register now, it will take you and give you all of the details. And it'll ask you a series of questions and you will get a confirmation. You do have to, the cost is the same for registration. Um, whether you need CEs and you're attending in person or virtually, it's 50 bucks. If you don't need CEs, if you're attending in person or virtually, it's 10 bucks. So that doesn't change anything, um, whether you're attending virtually or in person. I'm hoping for more in person person people this time around. So go to lightafterlossstart.org, go to education and training, the postvention convention, click register, and we will see you on August 11th. Until then, be well.